And what do you think uh, these big four um, consulting companies have uh, that most people, most companies don't have elsewhere? So what is the allure for students to go in the big four? Yeah, well, it probably helps with a bit of a backstory. So I, I studied business and economics at university. And in the UK, in between your, well, it's a four year degree because you have a placement year. And so I did a placement year with a company called Unilever. And Unilever, you know, one fast moving consumer goods, stuff like Dub and Lynx and stuff like that. So I did a placement year with Unilever. And following that, I did a summer internship with PwC. Um, and I was deciding, do I go kind of accounting or finance in industry or do I go kind of the professional services route? And one thing I noticed at Unilever was the majority of the people, particularly in the leadership of the finance or accounting function, had previously been from one of the big four. And in actually in my case, um, PwC. So for example, the old UK CEO, a guy called Graham Pakefi, I believe, he transferred across from PwC about 10 years or so ago. And kind of everywhere I was looking at Unilever, higher up in the hierarchy, a lot of people started out in the big four. And so when I joined PwC as well, it was rare to see people joining from industry. So it seemed to be kind of like a one way bit of traffic. And I thought, well, I really enjoyed working for both companies, but I've decided that PwC or any of the big four would give me kind of more opportunities later. You know, I could either start or continue with PwC or I can kind of move out into industry um, later on. Um, so that was one of the reasons in terms of, you know, I was looking up the hierarchy. I found a lot of people were at these big four firms. Another piece for me was the culture. I think the big four, they demand a lot in terms of kind of work, but at the same time, they reward you quite well as, as well. Um, Unilever, for example, great culture, but it's a bit more laid back. Um, it was nice if you wanted, you know, a good work-life balance, I guess, but I kind of wanted something straight out of university to really kind of push and develop me. And PwC for my summer internship just felt like a better experience. And then second, I think the third and final reason why I decided um, was I really wanted to be in a client facing role. I really enjoyed working on different projects throughout the year. Um, I'm not a fan of doing the same thing over and over and over again, which I think industry and maybe Unilever would have offered me. Whereas PwC, you know, I have my four clients and I work on, you know, different months across them all. There's opportunities, you know, for some comments and new clients and stuff like that. So it was the variety as well. So it's really, you know, working with people that I saw in those senior leadership positions, um, the variety of the work, and I felt it was a culture that would kind of push me to develop as much as I could. So those are the main reasons I decided to pick it. And I think in terms of the allure, like you said, that I think those are the reasons. Um, there's a lot of, PwC has a lot of technical knowledge as well. You know, the individuals there are, uh, you can say, some of the best accountants in the world. Um, so you learn a hell of a lot. You know, you get great insight into some really, you know, big level transactions like mergers and acquisitions, you know, refinancing, corporate financing and stuff like that. And I thought joining a big four firm compared to maybe one of the smaller accountancy firms would give me a greater insight, you know, into those everyday brands and businesses that you see in the news.